This is a video demonstration of IPAWS Pays as an ISO or agent office, how to create multiple users or employees on behalf of your merchant. So this is two steps or it could be two possible ways to do it. You as an ISO have the ability to do it. So does the merchant in the same exact way. So I'm logged in currently to the IPAWS Pays system as an ISO. I'm going to go under the assumption that the merchant has already been created to add users or add employees for a merchant's interface. First, we need to know if there's multiple stores or not. So here's my merchant one, two, three, and this particular merchant has two different stores, two different DBAs. I need to know ahead of time before I add this, if this user is gonna be for specifically only one store or if this user is going to encompass both stores and have the ability to run transactions or view sales between both locations because we have the option to do both. So first step number one, log in as the merchant. This is where I said the merchant can do the same thing. This is what the merchant could also do. All right, so you logging in as the merchant. This is now the merchant's interface, the ownership. This is the merchant that has access to both stores. Right, so under the user management while logged into the merchant, you can see the merchant's store managers. All right, this is also where you add users or add employees. From the hamburger menu on the top left of the user management, click on add user. Basically fill in the blanks. All right, the email address does need to be unique throughout the whole entire system. If it's dictated or detected that it's in use elsewhere, it cannot be used. There are shortcuts for Gmail. If it was a Gmail account, you can add plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, until it allows you, but this is only a Gmail trick. The email itself will still go back to the base email account, all right? The user role now becomes one of four options. The merchant can add another merchant admin. The merchant can add an operator. The operator is view only, cannot add or edit other users. Multiple store manager could be if I need to cross over between both stores. Store manager is for a specific store, and then you have to tell it which store. All right, once you tell it which store, you have modules and permissions for that specific user in this specific store and you would configure what this particular user can and can't do there are certain things that maybe the merchant does not want this employee to be able to do and this is where you would configure it under all of the cloud pause or whatever settings you do or do not want this user to do or have this is where it gets configured this is why the merchant might want to do these ad users themselves because they know better than you all right, so this video is for an ISO. Uh, I can just go ahead and hit save. Or submit, and now I have another user. If I need to do a multiple store user, remember the email address needs to be unique, so this cannot be the same person. I'm just gonna create something that I know might not be in the system at all. Now I do a multiple, multiple store manager, and then they're going to be both stores, right? So now they can toggle back and forth between both stores and whichever permissions. It knows my phone number is not right. <laughs> All right so now I have multi-store manager. Keep going on until infinity. Add, 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 and that's how you add users. Thank you.